Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Nelson for Catholic News Break. Here's what's happening this week in the news. We begin from the Vatican. For many pilgrims and tourists who visit the Vatican each year, one of the main parts of their journey is to visit the Vatican museums. Now the Vatican is opening up the museums in a new way to those visitors who are deaf and blind, creating a hands-on, multi-sensory experience. Catholic News Service has more in this story. The Vatican Museums have launched special tours for the deaf and blind. The new tours are free to the hearing and visually impaired and seek to offer a hands-on, multi-sensory experience of some of the museum's most famous works. The tour for the deaf includes stops in the Sistine Chapel and visits to other collections, and the guides are fluent in a number of sign languages. The itinerary for the blind and visually impaired includes examining Caravaggio's deposition from the cross, listening to the biblical account about Christ being ready for burial and a Gregorian chant. The same materials and techniques Caravaggio used in his masterpiece are used in a sample canvas so that when visitors touch the copy, they can feel the same kind of materials, trace the same brush strokes, and smell the oil medium of the paint Caravaggio would have used. Visitors also receive a booklet written in braille and bold large print it includes raised dots tracing the outline of Caravaggio's painting. Looking at now from news around the world, the Archdiocese of Havana, Cuba, announced that Dr. Oscar Ilias Bassett, the 49-year-old activist first jailed in 1999 for denouncing Fidel Castro's abortion policies, was released from prison March 11. He was also among a group of 75 activists jailed in anti-government protests in 2003. The Archdiocese of Havana has negotiated the release of 52 political prisoners since last summer. Upon his release, he told EFE, the Spanish news agency, that he intends to stay in Cuba. In a teleconference from Havana, March 14, Bassett singled his intention to remain critical of the government, calling the Castro regime a total dic dictatorship that fears informed citizens. He called on fellow Cubans to act moderately, impartially, and with firmness in the defense of their principles without falling into sectarian extremism, but always uncompromising in regards to liberty, justice, and democracy for Cuba. Political analyst and blogger Alberto de la Cruz told Catholic News Service, Oscar Bisset is Cuba's Nelson Mandela. In other news from around the world, at a news conference in Northern Ireland sponsored by the Catholic charitable agency Aid to the Church in Need, an Iraqi archbishop spoke of near-genocide conditions for Christians in his country and said those fleeing violence were straining resources in other parts of the country. Archbishop Bashar Wadr of Erbil, Iraq, said part of the problem was the country's weak constitution, which tries to please two masters. He said they were living in a region which cannot decide if it's for democracy or Islamic law. The conference at a pastoral center for the Archdiocese of Armagh, Northern Ireland, was to present the agency's new report on persecuted and forgotten Christians. Archbishop Wada criticized neighboring governments feeding insurgents with money and weapons to destabilize the Iraqi government and said the rest of the world's governments had turned their backs on them. Archbishop Wada said that since the U.S.-led occupation of his country began in 2003, more than 500 Christians had been killed in religious and politically motivated violence. And finally in the news, New York Archbishop Timothy Dolan, president of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, in a letter to Japanese Archbishop Leo Jun Ikanaga of Osaka, assured him of the prayers and solidarity of the U.S. Catholic Church amid the ongoing rescue and relief efforts in his nation. Japanese church officials are setting up an emergency center to coordinate humanitarian aid operations in Sendai, the area most devastated by the March 11th earthquake and tsunami. Bishop Gerald Kikanis of Tucson, Arizona, chairman of the CRS board, said the U.S. Bishop's Catholic Relief Services is responding to the tragedy by working with Caritas Japan and by receiving donations. In a statement, Bishop Kikanis said that the funds will be used for the immediate humanitarian needs of the most vulnerable and support the local Catholic Church in its ongoing mission. Catholics interested in supporting CRS relief efforts can visit crs.org slash Japan. And that is all the information we have for you at this time. Please stay with Catholic TV for more Catholic news. Until then, I'm Kevin Nelson, and I'll see you next time on Catholic News Break.